Hey fans, we're here with Amber Lardnoise, and we're here to talk about a sport that not many people would think is a sport. What is your sport that you play? Uh, I do bowling. So you're a bowler? Yes. And what school do you play for? Uh, Pulaski High School. And is that considered varsity, junior varsity? What do you play? Uh, I'm on the varsity team, but there also is options for junior varsity. Okay, so bowling. Yes. What made you decide that bowling was your sport? Well, I kind of tossed between basketball, volleyball, did a little tennis in the mix, but uh, I do have asthma, and during the summer days, uh, sporting is not the best in the summer, and bowling, it it didn't really click. Um, there was a eight for eight, and at the end of that, you get a free bowling ball, and a my grandma put me in that actually and during that time it it kind of just clicked naturally and I was uh, approached by the JBST coach and he said that he would love to coach me and we just kept the ball rolling now I have a family of coaches friends family spectators everything so it, you kind of fell into it then, yeah, literally. I, yeah. So how much time, now do you have a bowling season? Uh, no, we do, well, I do all year. The only downtime is really August because we're ending our junior gold league and then at the end of August, like the 20th, I would say, is we start our fall season and then we just keep, keep going with the leagues. So how, so you have your school league and you have another league. Yep. And so you're playing almost year round. Yep. And so does that mean a lot of travel that you're traveling all the time? Or do you do it like at a local bowling alley and you just submit like. So I played? do bowl for Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. That is my main for leagues. But then there's also called a JBST league. And there's also um, this tournament. It's by Jeff Wirtz and he does uh tournaments throughout the season you travel it's a weekend thing you go normally friday night you bowl saturday and sunday but the leagues are basically you pick you pick where you want to bowl there is no set time there is no set place but for school i do bowl for village lanes so that's a lot of time you're dedicating yes so are you dedicating time to your game every week every day um yeah so During the summer, it's basically just three times a week. But during the school year, when you have your um, leagues, you have your tournaments, you have your practices, you have your, like for me, I'm bowl for Pulaski varsity. So I have that practice. So it's the only day I have off is Tuesday. Wow. That's a lot of time. It is. That is is. a lot of time. So tell me a little bit about what you've accomplished so far with bowling. Um, you're looking to go on to college. Yes. And is bowling going to be part of your college career? Uh, yeah. So far, I have three scholarships that are full ride. So depending on how many I get, it could vary. I could start later. I could go to technical and then go or just go straight into it and bowl four years for any school I pick. That's pretty amazing, kiddo. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yes. So tell me about some of the awards that you've won. I mean, the scholarships, that's a great those are those are great in and of themselves and full yes. rides. Yes, that's pretty cool. Um, but you're you're leaving in the not too distant future to go do something. What are you going to do in Indiana? I'm going to a junior gold national championship. Excellent. That's pretty cool. Yes. Is that that's your first time that you're going? Oh no, I've been there. Oh no, she says <laughs> three oh, times. No. Three times. So fantastic. What are you looking to achieve this time when you go? Well, last year my goal was in the top 200. There's Last year, there were 600 girls in my division, and this year I move up to U18, so there will probably be 650 of us. Last year, I took 180. This year, I'm hoping for 100 to kind of just get in the cut and get it done with and just keep pushing myself when I'm there. Excellent. So you're going to play in college. Are you looking to do this as a career later on, or is this just going to be for fun? or? Well, my dream is a career. Uh, that would be amazing. I've put in so much work to just give it up because I'm going into my senior year. And it's like, you think about it, if I don't accept a full ride, if they don't have what I want or need, 
it'll be difficult to say goodbye, but there's always local tournaments that I could do. But my goal is to do the PBA tour. That's a pretty nice goal. Yes. Uh, I think that's fantastic. So this is a sport that not all kids even know are out there. So I like the fact that it's a little bit different than the normal basketball, soccer, track. Yes. Um, What kind of advice do you have? So in in your case, asthma was what kind of drove you in this direction. But what kind of advice do you have for kids that might not be as athletic or might have a limitation? What kind of advice would you give to kids like that? Um, you just go do whatever you want. Bowling is a great opportunity to get out of the house. You, you think it's not a sport. You think it's the it's easier just hitting 10 pins. But once you get more into it, you have all these oil patterns. You have specific motions in your ball, um, sizes in your ball, oil down the lane. You have so many things that you need to coordinate. So it's just as hard as you go out on a football field or a basketball court or a tennis court. You have to put your mind to the game and you have to be willing to work for those 10 pins to go down. Mm-hmm. It's focus, right? <laughs> it I mean, is. You, so what, what would you say is your number one thing that you got from playing so far that you can use in life from playing this sport? Oh, definitely communication. You think communication doesn't have anything to do. You think it's just a one-on-one thing, but you need to be able to communicate with people on the lanes. Um, y- you can't go to these tournaments. You can't just be in a, you, they don't allow you to be in a self bubble. Um, I used to be a shy person. Now I can go up to a lot of people and just talk. And we talk about something that you're both like passionate about. And you have lifelong friendships with these people. I still talk to people from three years ago I met in Detroit, and it's a great thing. That's fantastic. That's great. And communication can't, that can't be a bad thing anywhere. No matter what, if you continue to bowl or not, communication is key to survival, really, in the world. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. Good luck. You have another year of school to go yet, so you're not quite done. I'm looking forward to seeing you on on TV on that tour. Thank you. You bet. Thank you.